we are opening every 2007 tin ever made. What's up guys, we are back with another every tin opening. If you have not seen the other videos where we open every tin from 2002 through 2006, plus every special edition, every pack ever, go check out that playlist. I will have it up in the eye on that side, so you guys can watch those if you have not seen them. Today we'll be opening every 2007 tin and we do have a giveaway. I will be giving away these five cards, a couple of game promos, an LON Mass Beast. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, and let me know your favorite tin in the opening and let's get into it. This video is brought to you by Otis. Otis is a stock market for culture. Otis is an alternative investment app that allows you to invest in nostalgic assets that you otherwise probably could not afford, but instead you get to buy a small share of it. Items you've always wanted but haven't been able to afford are within your grasp using Otis. They have weekly drops such as a 9.5 first edition Blue Eyes White Dragon, rare video games like WADA 9.5 Super Mario Bros, and epic sports cards like a PSA 10 LeBron James autographed card. Download the app and check out items like these as well as the latest drops available for trading. Sign up for Otis with the link in the description and get your first share free when you fund your account. Thanks again to Otis for sponsoring the video and let's get back to it. So first of all, we need to go through the tins we're opening. We have the Volcanic Doom Fire, the Destiny Hero Plasma, Elemental Hero Plasma Vice, Elemental Hero Grand Neos, Rainbow Dragon, probably the most expensive tin in the lot, the Crystal Beast Sapphire Pegasus, not the Rainbow Dragon, like I said in the other video. As we get into this first tin, there is something to note specifically about these 2007 tins. These are where it is rumored that you can pull the misprint Rainbow Dragon. I will, prop it, I will pop it up on the screen. It's the effect version, the actually more rare version. The fusion version is the more common version, but the apparently the misprint is where you can you can pull these in here. Elemental Hero Plasma Vice. Let's check out the promo. Okay, Elemental Hero Plasma Vice. The card looks pretty good from what I can tell. Yeah, really good actually. Nice near minty to minty Elemental Hero Plasma Vice. Then we have, uh, it looks like a postcard here. The Tin Survey. So uh, you got a bit 41 cents. That's how much a stamp used to cost. I think it's like 58 cents now as of a few days ago. So 41 cents. Back in 2007, 8, this was, this was the stuff. So... You got this. You guys can check this out if you want. We're not going to go through it because we do have six tins to open. But that's pretty cool, actually. Then inside, we have the five packs. We have Tactical Evolution. That's where we could get the Misprint Rainbow Dragon. The effect version is several thousand dollars raw, so that could be crazy. We got the Force of the Breaker, Strike of Neos, Cyber Dark Impact, and Power of the Duelist will be in every tin we're opening. So we get 30 total packs today. Let us start with the Plasma Vice tin. First off, we have... Well, that's actually no. We got to save that one for last because that could have one of the... That would be the craziest pull I've ever had if we did pull that. So let's definitely save that one for the end. Let's start with Force of the Breaker. Force of the Breaker has some really cool stuff in it as well. So hopefully we'll pull it. The uh, Rise of the Storm Monarch. That's what we're looking for. Ultimate Rare. Crystal Beast, Emerald Tortoise. Crystal Beacon or the Volcanic Doomfire would be awesome as well. We've got a Topaz Tiger. Another good one that would be in Ultimate Rare. I would, I would be happy with that. Volcanic Blaster. Well, yeah, Strike and Neos needs to be at the end as well. Let's go with Cyberdark Impact. More of a common set. You see this a lot because of all of these sneak peek, you know, packs that, that are around. There's tons of them. So this one's more common. We've seen it a lot, but it does have some pretty cool one like Vanity's Fiend, Vanity's Ruler. And I feel like I'm forgetting one. We've got the Cyberdark Dragon, of course, but I bet these are retail, so I doubt you can pull that. Oh, we've got an upside down Iris the Earth Mother. Okay, that's pretty cool. Got a Cyber Ogre, Mystical Wind Typhoon, Barrier Statue of the Heavens, and a Straight Flush. Somebody used this on me in Duel Links the other day, and I was like, are you kidding? You're actually playing this card? On to the next pack, Power of the Duelist. If you guys are enjoying this long tin opening, you know, opening everything, all the videos that we have done, we have more coming in the future. So sub consider subscribing. We're almost to 100,000. Out of 100, we're opening Retro Pack 2 Booster Box and Retro Pack 1 Booster Pack. Supposedly heavy. It's going to be crazy. Saber Source. Destiny Hero Defender. And a Supercharge. I, I hate pulling this card. It's the worst. Okay, so Fearmonger. So, so far it's been a slow start. But we do have the big hitter packs left. Strike of Neos. Could pull the Elemental Hero Air Neos. As you guys know, it was only printed in Strike of Neos. Never reprinted. So, even the Ultra Rare Unlimited is worth a ton. Because it's like the lowest rarity ever. Because Or in general for this set. Because... There's no, there's no reprint. Low Moss, there's not any sort of anything. Anti-Fusion. 
Chuchule and the Awakened. These are like warped the other way of the other cards. Oh, I thought that was something. Cloak and Dagger. I thought it was an ultimate rare. Regular rare. We got the Yaichi for Six Samurai. And Sheehan's Foot Soldier. Nothing so far. We're 0 for 4. But you know how that can change. If we pull the misprint Rainbow Dragon. You guys might see a man die on camera. <laughs> that would be so cool. So the Tactical Evolution uh, effect version has the picture of the Rainbow Dragon. No, the picture of... Wait. I'm confused now. It, the effect version has... Rainbow Dragon on the picture, I think. Does it? No. What does the name say? I'm confused now. Let's just pull it and they'll figure it out. Reverse the Neos. I'll have it pop up because I know the Fusion version says Rainbow Dragon and has the Chaos Neos picture. Now I'm confusing myself with what the effect version has. Ambush Fangs and... I saw an effect version. I, 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 I'm going to freak out every time I see that. So that is a super rare... Okay, that's still a good pull. I mean, it's, I don't think it's worth very much, but it is a super rare. We did not go over on the tin. That's the goal is to pull a foil on every tin. Very nice. If we pull a ghost rare of any kind, we are going to be excited. Next, we are going to go into the Crystal Beast. Sapphire Pegasus. And not only is this a Crystal Beast Sapphire Pegasus, it is not a Rainbow Dragon. Because the other day I was like, ah, check out this Rainbow Dragon tin. I guess I just looked at the color and like never looked at the uh, at the actual monster there because this is clearly not a Rainbow Dragon. Okay, on to the promo. This is a pretty cool promo to be honest. Let's let's get it out of here. Uh, these are always really difficult to. What the? Wait, that's not that's not supposed to be there. <laughs> that's supposed to be up here. There's always weird like error packaging where they like accidentally put two of the same thing. I've, that's happened so many times. Okay, we've got a Crystal Beast, Sapphire, Pegasus, Secret Rare. This actually looks really good. I really like these promos. Check that out. That's really cool. I like that. Interesting. So this one has a pocket guide inside rather than the postcard to, like, review the tin. Some people got gypped. They had to, like, review instead of actually get something cool. Look at this. It has all of the big boy mod. Look! Uriah, Lord of Searing Flames, when Raviel's the cover card? What is up with that? That's interesting. And then you got the Elemental Shining Flare Wingman. Okay, yeah, we're not going to go through all these, but man, that is actually super cool to see what the uh, supposedly best cards were of the set. Let's get our packs out. We're going to go in a little bit different order this time. Wait a second. Oh, maybe the, only the Rainbow Dragon 10 has the... Maybe it's like Wave 1. So maybe only three of them have... So this one has Elemental Energy. Maybe, no, it's got to be Wave 2 then because Elemental Energy is older. Definitely not as exciting because you want to get that misprint, but still cool. Let's keep going. Yeah, because I bet they did the Wave 1 and Wave 2 thing that they did in 2006. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check out the 2006 Every 10 opening. We figured out that there were waves. I did not know that. We've got the Stray Asmodian. Instant Fusion. It's a good pull. Man Beast of Ares. Accumulated Fortune. Ooh, and an Ultimate Rare. Rampaging Rhinos. That's cool. I mean, oh, check. he's got like checkers on his head on the, on the texture. That's really cool, actually. So we did get an ultimate rare already. It took us a long time in the last one, so this is pretty good. We got an ultimate rare. We will take that. We've got an ultimate. We got an instant fusion in that pack. Overall, pretty good. You can't complain about that. Okay, barrier statue. We got a linear, a baki, and chain detonator. Let's go into the power of the duelist pack. Look at all these lines on it. That's kind of weird. Now, what can we pull here? Ultimate rare. Let's do this. Because these, uh, some of these other packs can have Strike of Neos and Force of the Breaker can have Secret Rares. This cannot. The Acroid Connection Zone. Destiny Hero Fearmonger. And a Neos. That would be a sick Ultimate Rare, actually. It would be a really good one. Destiny Mirage, Common Soul, Mausoleum of the Emperor. I love that. And Bit Alone. Let's do Elements of Energy since we, uh, you know, we're going with the ones that can only pull Ultimates, not Secrets. I'm not sure what the retail ultis are out of this set. I'm, tr I'm trying to think. Bonding H2O. We've got the Familiar Possessed Win. Non-Fusion Area. Scar Scout of Dark World. Oh, brow. That's a cool one. That's a cool rare. Okay, Dark World Lightning. We're getting a whole Dark World package in just one pack. Next up, Force of the Breaker. Let's go. Let's pull a secret rare. Uh, what is it? Eradicator Epidemic Virus or something like that. Or no, it, it's the one that looks like a microphone. What is that one? Okay, Blaze Accelerator. Or, of course, the Rise Up. Mass Hypnosis. We got the Master of Barriers. Crystal Blessing. Harpy Queen. That would be a sick one. Volcanic Scattershot. Crystal Raigeki. Secrets of the Gallant and Volcanic Blaster. On to the final pack. Strike of Neos. Probably the most exciting one in this, in this tent specifically. Can we pull 
the legendary Air Neos. That is the goal. I've never pulled an Air Neos because you have to pull it from this set. Destruction Cyclone. Flashbang. Like it through. Electric Virus. And a card trade. We've got a super rare. So we're ending with supers at the end. We've got Silent Abyss, Raging Area, and Alien. Definitely a Duel Links card there because of the fact that the card trader is where you get your cards in there. You can like trade in for them. Our third tin, we have the Grand Neo. So on the back, it looks like it does have first launch and second launch. So first launch has the elemental energy. So the second launch is the one that are going to be more exciting. So we're going to go with the first launch ones first. So that way we get the uh, little bit less, not just slightly less because we can't get the Rainbow Dragon, but still pretty exciting. I mean, there's striking Neos in here, Elemental Energy. Grand Neos is a very cool promo too. We've got Elemental Hero, Grand Neos, the secret rare. Very cool. Inside, striking Neos, Force of the Breaker. Let's get our order in here. Cyberdark Impact brought us an ultimate rare last time. So let's continue doing that how about that cyberdark impact every pack have an ultimate rare yeah because the vanity's fiend and vanity's ruler are retail ulties so i'm okay with uh pulling that straight flush straight asmodian these are way oc check this out wow that's really off center instant fusion another one and an allure queen level five that would have been a cool ulti i feel like rhinos was <laughs> one of the worst ones we could have gotten but still cool let's go to the power of the duelist so duelist this is your power right here it's in this set, which is, I think, not a very good set in general. It's pretty cool for collecting, though. I really like a lot of the ultimate rares in here. Contact, we got a Wonder Garage. Rescue Roid. Future Fusion. Please give us that ultimate rare. That would be so cool. Crop Circle and Rallis. Please give us that. That would be absolutely incredible. On to Elemental Energy, Shining, Phoenix, and Forcer. Here we go. Wait, that's the wrong set. Shining Flare Wingman. I almost said that, and then I was like, no, that's not right. I was thinking of Shining Wing, a regular Flame Wingman. Flame Wingman. Yeah, and they all sound the same. Forces of Darkness. I am just botching it. Oja Muscles. Bonding H2O. And Jax. There's another incredible one that could be Ultimate Rare. Come on. Give us something really cool like that. On to Force of the Breaker. If you guys are enjoying this long video, hit the like button. Subscribe. We are trying to get to that 100K. Also, I appreciate you guys who are watching this video. Hope you guys are enjoying it. Let me know future every something openings we could do. Wildfire. We got the last resort. Crystal Beast, Amber Mammoth. Crystal Abundance, and... Lucky Iron Axe. That is not one we want as an ultimate rare at all. Volcanic Scattershot. Yeah, we do not want the Lucky Iron Axe. That's, that's a boring one. Okay. Strike of Neos. Come on, I don't think I've ever pulled anything good out of Striking Neos. Can we pull a Grandmaster? I mean, I take that. I don't care that's unlimited. Marionette Might. So we got Might Guy. We got the synth Synthesis Spell. Electric Virus. Destruction Cyclone. Gene Warped, where every time, this is the only card I can pull out of Striking Neos. It's so annoying. We pulled the ultimate last time. Gene Warped Warwolf. A 2000 beater. Is he 2000? Yeah, 2000 beater. Anti Fusion Device. All right. That's halfway through the 10s. we got three more chances to pull something epic. The last first launch 10, the Destiny Hero Plasma 10. I've opened one of these before on the channel. Just si I think this was the only 10 from... Wow, that was really violent. I think this is the only 2017 I had opened before this. We have a little bit of experience in this one. And also, the uh, Plasma promo itself is fairly valuable compared to some of them. So we have a pretty awesome condition on these two, which is really good to see. Great condition on the promos. Another pocket guide. So apparently they only wanted you to review the uh, Plasma Vice one. Okay, five packs. Didn't get any bonus misprint packs. If you guys missed the Light of Destruction Special Edition opening, something crazy happened in that one. Let's go. So far, some supers. One ulti. Very nice promo. So decent opening so far. We're looking for something absolutely epic, though. Justy Break. Barry Statue of the Drought. Ritual Foregone. Combo Fighter. Flash of the Forbidden Spell. I actually graded this as a PSA 10, I think. Or maybe it was a 9. I did get an Ultimate Rare First Edition and grade it. Now that I'm thinking about this, the Cyberdark Impact and Power of the Duelist Unlimited packs are actually pretty rare. There was Because they're mostly First Edition because of all those sneak peeks. So that's actually it's a little bit cool to have Unlimited of these sets. Crystal's Dolphin. Amulet's Rescue Roid. Destiny Hero Fearmonger. Overload Fusion. Give me that as an ulti, please. That would be so cool. Alien Skull. On to the 
Elemental Energy Pack. Can we pull something absolutely amazing? We have VW Tiger Catapult, Bonding H2O, Scar, Scout of Dark World, Reborn Zombie. Is that an ultimate? Yes, Chthonian Alliance. I thought it was just a regular rare. And I was like, wait, why is it gold? Chthonian Alliance. You can barely tell. Let's go. That's cool. Very nice. That is super cool. Look at all those. Look at that artwork. Like, what is happening in this? It's pretty cool, though. Second ultimate rare. We're getting them out of the uh, kind of weird set. I mean, well, I guess Elements Energy is cool, but it's kind of a weird, like, ultimate rare to get. But Hydra get on. That's cool. But we'll take another ulti. Now we are hoping to pull a third ulti or maybe a secret out of one of these. This would be really cool. Strike Neos has some good secrets. Force of the Breaker, I only, only can think of like a couple of them. So I'm sure that they're pretty decent. I just, can't, I just don't open a lot of Force of the Breaker. Hard Cell and Zombie. Gravity Crush Dragon. We got the Wildfire. Last Resort. Volcanic Slicer. That would be a cool ulti as well. The Volcanics are pretty cool. Tornado. Some people really like those. They haven't had support in, you know, since Force of the Breaker. I don't think so. It's kind of funny. We got Strike of Neos. After this, we will have a couple more chances at the uh, Misprint Rainbow, which is pretty cool. Destruction Cyclone. We've got the Flash Bang. Lycanthrope. Come on, Strike of Neos. Give us that air, Neos. Let's go. Advanced Ritual Art. Spiral Serpent. <laughs> okay, Iru. That's cool. Puppet Plant and Glow Moss. That's a quite an annoying card. Speaking of Volcanics. Volcanic Doomfire, not Doomfire Dragon, which I have mistakenly called him. I've messed up two of the six names on here. I've screwed up their, the promo's name before. <laughs> Volcanic Doomfire. There, you gotta. Okay, so apparently it's in the second wave. They're asking you to review in the second wave. I guess that's what it is. Volcanic Doomfire. The condition is looking pretty nice. All these promos have been completely minty, which is amazing. I mean, that's just a cool looking card. Let's be honest. We've got another Tactical Evolution pack. I like these tens a little bit more because tactical evolution. We could pull regular Rainbow Dragon Ghost. We could pull the Misprint. We could pull Secret Rares. We could pull Ulties. It's a little bit more fun than just Ulties. Snipe Hunter. We've got the Alien Mars. Come on. Cyberdark Impact, you've been good to us. Come on. Send it switch. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Another Rampaging Rhinos? What is the deal here? Why? Two of the same ultimate rare? <laughs> There's only six packs of Cyberdark Impact. We pulled two of the same ultimate rare. Oh, <laughs> okay. Well, it is a third ultimate rare, which is cool. But like, what in the world is that? That is insane. Instant Fusion. That's, I think that was in the last pack that had the Rampaging Rhinos. <laughs> Unbelievable. Not only are we pulling a bad ultimate rare, we're pulling it twice. <laughs> it's kind of weird. I mean, we'll take it over getting like one ultimate rare overall. Um, but still, that is weird. Destiny Hero, we got the Blade Master. Crop Circles. Rallus. Alien Skull. Dark City Psych. Why is that not the ultimate rare? That would be incredible. Instead of pulling Rampage your Rhinos. I don't know. The luck is not in our favor so far. Well, ratios wise, but in terms of actual good, you know, cards we want. How about Force of the Breaker bring it back right here? Ryza, the Storm Monarch. Magnus Slash Dragon. Blaze Accelerator. Mass Hypnosis. Sky Scourge Nor... Nor... Nolaros? Norloros? It's a super rare. Okay, we'll take it. Super rare Sky Scourge. Well, we will take that. It's not bad. It's not bad. We got Back to the Wall, A Cell, Volcanic Hammerer, and Terrible Deal. Two more packs, Strike of Neos. And then we're on to the final Rainbow Dragon 10, which is a really nice one. That promo is really cool, too. We have the Emblem of the Awakening. The Six Samurai, come on. Grin, Tactician of Dark World. Swift Samurai Storm. And eliminating the league. That is a classic card. Flashbang, Lycanthrope, Advanced Ritual Art, and Umbral Soul. Tactical Evolution. Let's go. Misprint Rainbow Dragon. Please, 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 please. <laughs> or just regular Ghost Unlimited Rainbow Dragon. I would be just as happy with that, honestly. I'd be very happy. We've got a range Gatekeeper of Dart World. Dart World. <laughs> Cocoon Party. Ritual Raven. Neospatian Marine Dolphin. And a damage. Reptile. Okay, Dark Effigy and uh, Venom Swap. All right, okay. another Rampaging Rhinos. On to the final 10, the beautiful Rainbow Dragon 10. I mean, that promo is super cool. So let's break the seal, Yugi. 
Oh wait, use the seal. Use the seal, Yugi. Avoli calcos. Isn't, doesn't he say something like that? I don't remember, it's something weird. All right, final 10. Rainbow Dragon, best promo of them all, or at least these seven, or six, seven, 2007, I guess. Okay, so this one's looking pretty... Where's the secret where There it is. Okay, you couldn't get it at first. Back looks pretty good as well. So it looks like this one is very nice as well, which is good because it's a really cool one. Probably the coolest one. Six more packs in the opening. Let's see if we can end it off hot. Final six packs. All right, Cyberdark Impact. Watch this. It's going to be another Rampaging Rhinos. It's like the regular rares, but it's going to be. It's just going to rub it in our face. Chain Detonation. Dark Lucius Level 4. Level down. Snipe Hunter. Ooh, and we've got a Dimensional Inversion. I'm just glad it's not Rampaging Rhinos, to be honest. Mystical Wind Typhoon, Barrier Statues. I think some of these are worth something. I don't think it's that one, though. It might be worth a little bit. Power of the Duelist. Here we go. Common Soul. Sabersaurus. Royal Wit of Taxation. Alien Gray. Cosmic Horror Gangel. Okay, we're starting off 0 for 2 here. We still have the three big packs. The last three packs of our 30 packs we're opening today. Force of the Breaker. Let's go. We have a Magna Slash. Blaze Accelerator. The Mass Hypnosis. Can we pull that Ryza? Can we pull that um, Volcanic Doomfire Ultimate Rare? Master Barriers. Crystal Beast Topaz Tiger. This is an actually good ultimate rare. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. This is an actually good one. Okay, so four ultimates in 30 packs is actually insane. And then Crystal Beast Topaz Tiger is a good ultimate rare. Wow, check that out, guys. That looks sick. Yes, that looks absolutely amazing. I mean, Topaz Tiger is a cool looking card anyway. I actually used this card in my Papa Corn deck and Duel Links like a few years ago. Papa Corn with the Bastion skill where you could place that tree on the field as a field spell and it'd power him up. And then Papa Corn got, got pop, powered up somehow. So he'd be like a 2700 normal summon. And this card was really good in that deck as well. It was, I actually have a video of it, it's unlisted, but maybe one day we'll, we'll share it. It, it, was, it was a fun deck, it did really good actually. Two more packs, that is an awesome, awesome ultimate to get. I'm feeling a lot better now. Here we go. We have the Six Samurai Iru. A Cell Scatterburst. We've got the Puppet Plant. Neospatian Glow Moss. Come on, come on. Air Neos. End it off with Air Neos. DD Crow. That could have been an ultimate. Unlimited, like a $300 card. That's like one of the most expensive retail ultimates in general, like ever. That's still a good pull, so I can't complain, but man, if that was an ultimate, I would have lost it. That would be huge. Final pack of the opening. Can, speaking of huge, can we end it on the craziest pull I've ever had? Can we get the misprint Rainbow Dragon Ghost Rare effect version? We've got King Pyron. Creature Seizure. Alien Shock Trooper. Reverse of Neos. Whew. Here we go, guys. Will this be it? Trap Reclamation. It will not be it. Okay, that's fine, though, because that Crystal Beast Topaz Tiger was a heck of a way to end this opening. It was actually pretty good. Four ultimate rares out of 30 packs. You usually get one out of every 12. So we usually take 48 packs to get that many ulties. So I cannot complain. It was a pretty good opening, especially compared to the 2006 opening, which was pretty rough. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, let me know in the comments. And if you made it all the way through the video and you're not subscribed, you might as well subscribe because if you enjoy this video, there will be more like this and they'll be coming up on the channel. But before we end the video, I I have to shout out my ultimate supporters on Patreon and YouTube. We have TCG Trusted Cards, Toe and Fo Show, Tomato Juice, Stanley, Mike Nance, and Nimit Gecko. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. And that's it for this video. I will see you guys later. Peace. Shining Abyss. Ooh, the Revival Jam. Oh, and oh!